Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alicia's Kitchen. So in today's video, I'll be making this super moist pineapple upside down cake. Now, let's bake. So guys, the ingredients are flour, sugar, baking powder, cinnamon, vanilla, pineapple juice, milk, oil, eggs, or pineapple slice, and cherries. So I already went ahead and I put my things in place. First, I'm just going to add all my ing dry ingredients to my mixing bowl. Now I'm going to mix this until everything is well combined. So now guys, it's time to add our liquid ingredients and I'm using almond milk instead of cow's milk. Next we have our eggs. And you just want to use a spatula just to scrape out the excess. Oil. Pineapple juice. And vanilla extract. <laughs> now after combining all our liquid, you just want to whisk that until it's smooth. Here guys, I'm just adding some extra pineapple juice. So now that our batter is all creamy and smooth, we're just going to set that aside. So guys, for my topping, I'm using granulated sugar and I'm going to color that with yellow gel coloring. A lot of people, they use the melted butter and the sugar. I don't like using that. I just rather this method a whole lot better. And guys, these are the Wilton Golden and Lemon Yellow Coloring.
now look how gorgeous this color is and guys if you have additional sugar left over you can always save it do not toss it guys save it So now I'm going to add that sugar to my prepared baking tin. So now I'll be placing six rings around the center of my baking tin, then I'm going to set a single ring in the center. Okay, so now I'm placing my maraschino cherries in the center of each ring. And you can also use the remaining cherries just to fill out the gaps. So now guys, I divided my batter because I wanted to marble my cake, but it's optional. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. <laughs> Now you just want to pipe your batter alternately. Now you want to be at the set of temperature at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And remember to save your sugar guys, this was the sugar I was telling you guys about earlier. So guys, my cake had been cooling for about 10 minutes. I put it on a serving plate, now I'm just removing the parchment paper. Now guys, do not wait any longer than 10 or 15 minutes to take your cake from that baking tin because it will just not come out, okay? <laughs> And once your cake is fully cool, you just want to cut a nice slice honey and taste it, okay? Mine was super moist. If you follow the recipe, guys, it's super moist. You'll really enjoy this recipe. I love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.